One person who really influenced, uh, especially for me, a moment of the Mass was from one of my first parishes. Uh, there was a, a young wife and mother. Mm -hmm. uh, she had several children. And she said to me after Mass one day, Father, my favorite part of the Mass is that part where you hold the host above the altar. And it's just quiet for, for just a brief mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. She said, you know, I'm a, I'm a mother. I've got young kids. That is the only quiet in my week is oh. that, that little yeah. moment. And that was really striking to me. And I thought, you know, if that's her only quiet in the week, <laughs> yeah. uh, could I just hold that just a moment longer? <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Um, um, I, I kind of gave myself that challenge, you know, of, mm -hmm. of really letting that moment be a true moment of peace, mm -hmm. a true moment of adoration for our people. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's one of those moments in the Mass uh, that, that really uh, our prayer and our adoration come out of, you know, the, mm -hmm. the elevation of Jesus truly present in the Eucharist. And then to fast forward many years later and, and to have a, a man who uh, was dying with cancer and a very faithful, mm -hmm. good Catholic man. And he said uh, one of the greatest gifts for him is that moment in the mass at the elevation mm -hmm. where he could just gaze on Jesus and let Jesus look at him yeah. and, and to be strengthened in the midst of his, his treatments and uh, not mm -hmm. feeling well, mm -hmm. uh, to be strengthened by Jesus in that moment. Yeah. Uh, probably one of my greatest joys and privileges mm -hmm. as a priest was to be able to offer a mass at his hospital bed yeah. uh, there with his family and friends just mm -hmm. uh, on those last days. But to be able to elevate Jesus and hold Jesus above his hospital bed mm -hmm. uh, so that he could have that moment of prayer. Uh, and for him, what was a moment of preparation along the way to heaven. Mm -hmm.